Hi guys, it's Dorothea here. We're at the Vintro Demo Bar and today we're going to be showing you how to create a pewter look. Um, so I'm going to get straight into it and I'll kind of talk um, through it. Now, first you'll need some Midnight. I'm going to pop that open, give it a really good stir. And for this finish, you'll want to decant it a little bit. Put it into a container or ice cream container or something you can put a lid back on if you don't use it all up. You're going to add a little bit of water. Now the reason why we're going to do this is because we're not after a lot of texture. Um, we're kind of after more, more of a flat finish. I'm going to mix the water in. I'm going to paint straight on this um, piece of pine. And so when you're brushing it, I'm using the Vintro Round Synthetic Brush. Brush it in all directions. Great coverage, Midnight. It's a really popular finish that everyone's kind of been asking us um, about. Um, and it's really simple. It's a little, I mean, it's probably a little bit more involved than your basic paint um, and wax. It's a three-step process, um, but very, very easy to achieve. Just gonna make up some more paint there. Midnight's a beautiful charcoal. There we go. So I've painted it in all, in all directions using a Vintro round blue synthetic brush. And then you're gonna leave it to dry. So um, give it about 20 minutes. And I'm gonna use a hairdryer just for this, the sake of this demo. Brilliant. So after your first coat, you may need to just touch up here and there. If you're still seeing some wood, I can just see a little bit here and there. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to my paint, just a little bit more. Just brush over. This is what we call a half coat. So just touching up areas um, that you can still see a little bit of wood. And then leave it to dry. Again, it's best to leave it to dry naturally. It'll take about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to use a hairdryer. Brilliant, so you've got a beautiful base there um, for your pewter finish using Vintro Midnight. I'm just gonna put that to one side. And now we are ready to mix um, a little, create our pewter paint. So I've just got some baking paper here. And I've got a fresh can of um, Vintro metallic silver paint. So I'm just going to open, give it a really good shake. Open it up. This is a brand new can. And with a brand new can, you'll see when you open it up, it's quite milky on the top. So you want to give it a really, really good stir. And as you stir it, you'll see it'll become silver. Once it's thoroughly stirred, pull some out, decant some into, again, a container or something. Um, you can put a lid on if you don't use it all up. So I'm just gonna put some on this baking paper. Now, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the Midnight that I used to paint my wooden swatch or the, um, the pine piece of pine here. 
I'm gonna just add a little bit into my silver paint to color it. Vintro's uh, chalk paint is highly pigmented. You can see it just turns it into a beautiful pewter color. So that's the pewter, that's the silver. That's what adding midnight into the silver paint has changed it to that color. I'm gonna add a tickle of water into this. The reason being is when you add paint into the silver metallic paint, it dries it out a little bit. So by adding water, it kind of makes it nice and easy to brush out. And I'm just gonna mix that in. Just a teeny bit of water, you don't need a lot. Now with my round synthetic, um, round synthetic brush, I'm gonna pick that up. And I'm gonna brush my pewter paint over the midnight. Brushing in all directions. When you're working with metallics, it's nice to brush it in all directions. If you brush it one way, up and down, you'll get a lot of kind of, it'll look a little bit more streaky, very linear, unless um, that's the look you're after. You can see that takes beautifully to the midnight. The midnight works as a beautiful base for um, this pewter finish. So brushing in all directions, one coat of your um, pewter paint, leave it to dry. Again, I'm gonna use a hairdryer, but it's best to leave it to dry naturally. So you can see there, it's got a beautiful finish to it, a beautiful sparkle. Now we're ready for the last step. Grab my baking paper out. I've just got some of the Vintro um, clear wax here. I'm gonna put some out onto my baking paper. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of silver metallic paint into it. A little bit of midnight, it's kind of a bit like cooking. And also, this time, a touch of Vintro Victorian Black. And then I'm going to mix it all together. It's gonna be darker than our to mix with a Victorian black in there. But when working with metallics, the more variation and the more depth you're able to create in your metallic finish, the more authentic it's gonna look. So there we go, there's my um, dark pewter wax. Compared to, let me just take this away, um, our pewter mix here, um, which we used over midnight. So all I'm gonna do now, once I've mixed that up, I'm gonna grab my Vintro Pure Bristle Brush, pick it up, and even though I've added Victorian Black, Midnight, and Silver to it, the wax is still super soft and creamy and just beautiful to work with. So then all we're gonna do is we're gonna brush it over. This. You can see it just kinda just slides, such a beautiful wax to work with. And then what you're gonna do now is you're gonna grab a clean lint-free rag, an old t-shirt, an old sheet, something that doesn't have lint in it, and like a, with a light dusting type motion, just backwards and forwards, taking the excess off and helping that wax to kind of dry in there. And it just adds a little bit more depth to that metallic finish. So there we are. You can see it's a beautiful finish. And that's it. So your pewter finish, you need midnight, um, Vintro Midnight chalk paint. You need the silver metallic um, paint. 
you're going to paint it in midnight first and then you're going to mix silver paint with midnight a touch of water um, to do your pewter layer of paint and then final step you're going to grab some of your Vintro clear wax um, add a little bit of silver to it a little bit of midnight and a touch of Victorian black just to deepen and darken it and then wax over it just to give it a little bit more depth um, but a beautiful finish and very very easy to achieve